there. Welcome to this week of intercession and prayer. Uh, Freedom One, hearing God.tv. And uh, boy, just encountering a lot of warfare. Um, it's been rough today. So just trying to enter in. Uh, praise, praise and worship music really helps with that. Um, Lord Jesus, we just come to you this day, and we'll turn this time over to you, and we just ask that you would guide it, we call forth your Holy Spirit, a grand invitation, come Holy Spirit, come, come and have it, the praises of your people, come and fill up this time, uh, prepare us as our, as, as you come forth to flow from us as rivers of living water. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that the prayers of the righteous avail much and that how good it is that you are here with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and praise you, Lord. Oh, so, <laughs> um, speaking of praise, um, I did get a couple uh, little praise reports um, last week. Uh, we had praise, prayed for Rose's back last week, and while we were praying, uh, the person that signs in called Chocolate Chip, uh, the previous week we had prayed, I asked her to lay her hand on her back and kind of stand in the gap and pray for Rose and then last week I didn't say anything like that we were just praying for Rose again and all of a sudden uh, chocolate chips uh, back she said started feeling really warm so I was like praise God something's going on there well Rose uh, contacted us um, I can't remember what day of the week it was but she said today is the second day that I'm not I am in I am not on any medication and now I am able to walk without the pain. I, I am still in physical therapy, but don't feel the pain. Thank you once again. Um, so uh, we will pray for her for continued healing. But I also have another back uh, prayer request for Megan, uh, who injured her back as well. She is also uh, recovering and in physical therapy at the, at the moment. But let's just pray um, for both of their backs, for Rose and for Megan, uh, for complete restoration. Thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we just ask that you would send forth your angels to go and touch their spines. To touch those muscles around the, those spots of injury and to erase them in the mighty name of Jesus we call forth your healing power Lord Jesus through the power of your mighty name we speak life and restoration to those backs in Jesus mighty name if anybody else was listening and has back pain, <laughs> receive that. Receive it. So there we got two backs. Yay. Um, and, and James wrote um, the, the cold that he had was about gone. And it, the thing with organic brain dysfunction is when, I think it started virally, correct, James? Um, anytime you deal with something viral again, it can cause conditions to grow worse and whatnot. And it's called complications. So that was his biggest concern. And uh, uh, didn't have any. Um, so the cold's about gone and, and nothing new, which is awesome because that's what we want. We want forward motion in the healing route, right? Um, so, 
Uh, yeah, hi Jessica, I haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> um, so we we'll just continue to pray for you, James, and lift you up. Complete physical restoration to your body, James. We call forth your body to uh, come in line with the perfect word of God. And also the stomach and uh, just everything that that cold did to wreak havoc on your body. We cancel that in the mighty name of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus over your doorposts. <laughs> we declare that you belong to the Lord Jesus. We bind up any mental static right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We call forth clarity. Clarity in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We call forth that rest. That rest that he so needs. That peace that transcends the mind but goes all through his body. We claim that peace over his entire body in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill him with your peace, Lord Jesus. And we continue to call forth this new brain in the mighty name of Jesus. We call forth all the, everything in the brain to communicate with the body. There be no delay. There be no disruption. We place the cross of Jesus Christ between James and anything that would hinder his full healing. You must bow the knee, enemy. Just as James bows the knee to Jesus Christ. Come forth in wholeness and in restoration. Give him that refreshing that he desires, Lord Jesus. That deep refreshing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I can feel that you're receiving that because it's kind of like when the, you walk into a town, if, if you're received, uh, the blessing goes out. And it's, it's the same thing here. I just feel that blessing being received. Because <laughs> I'm starting to feel peaceful. I told you, um, yeah, you know, I was having a rough time earlier. And so... Um, it's, it's blessing me too. <laughs> um, okay, we have uh, some prayer requests for the gift of tongues. Um, Reggie Boy one on YouTube and 25 Max Mar on YouTube. Um, Reggie Boy says, I've been trying for a while. I once got the wrong idea of tongues because a woman was praying for people in a church. And they would fall over and worm like snakes and make crazy noises. And he said to his uncle, it wasn't of God. Since that time, he's apologized and he wants to speak in tongues. So he's thinking that because he was speaking against it, um, that that was becoming as a blocker for him receiving it now. Um, you know, and I don't know what to tell you about these manifestations you know, it, it could be that they were speaking in tongues and the demonic was, there was deliverance going on at the same time. I really don't know. Um, and that's hard because, you know, at, at one corner you'll say that God uses such bizarre things to shame the wise, you know. He, he wants you to want him for who he is and all he is. And everything so there is strange stuff in his spiritual kingdom you know 
but at the same time, the enemy can counterfeit. So um, that's a tricky one, and I don't, I don't know what he really saw then. But it's awesome that despite it, that hunger in him is so, so great. I mean, that's the thing. When your hunger for what it says in the Word, if the Word says this and you want it so bad that you're going to let that one bad experience, you know, just say, well, I know that that didn't seem right and everything, but this is what the Word says and I want it. So kudos because um, his heart is right in the right place to to roll in this. And 25 Maxmar said, pray for me that Jesus will give me a gift of tongue. I'm also desperate to have it because I will know then when I have it, Jesus is in me. Thank you in Jesus' name. <laughs> amen. So, amen. We will... We will intercede for these two. Jesus, they so want to earnestly desire the greater gifts. We indeed agree, Lord Jesus, that if they have not walked into the fullness of what this really is, it's essentially the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that that base be covered first. So if one of you or anyone that's watching would so like to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, if you don't know that you are, understand that what happened when Jesus really started his ministry, um, you know, he... <laughs> He had the baptism of the Holy Spirit, too. Um, John administered it. It wasn't just like a water thing. It, After he was baptized in the Holy Spirit, that's when all the warfare began uh, out in the desert. And then when he overcame, he came out uh, with his authority and the miracles began. So, Lord Jesus, we just come to you. Anyone that desires more of you, and it's, it's just not one toe in. But you're saying out there, I want all that you have for me, Jesus. I surrender my life to you. I give myself over to you for your good calling and purpose over my life. I know, Lord Jesus, that I'm not perfect. But I know whom is perfect. And so I submit myself to you, Lord Jesus. I submit myself to you and all that I am and I invite your most Holy Spirit to come dwell within so that I may flow in the power that is promised in your precious name Lord Jesus baptize you in the name of Jesus and for those that want it with evidence of tongues we just command that tongue to be loosened. We bind up anything that the enemy would try to throw. Any preconceived notions. any Anything exalted above. We bind it up and we place it at the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. And we invite in the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit to come flow through us. We receive your calling to be vessels. And to flow out as rivers of living water with your presence with your mandate for your kingdom. Thank you, Jesus, that you have gifted each one of us. You have called us forth, and we do earnestly desire the greater gifts, which you promise. Thank you, Jesus, that you give us loaves and fishes and not scorpions and snakes. And so, Lord Jesus, thank you that in asking for this gifting that they so desire, that they indeed shall receive. We bind up any hindrances right now in the mighty name of Jesus, and we call forth this gifting. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Hope to hear some testimonies on on uh, 
baptism and gift of tongues there. Um, okay, I've I've had some uh, oh, some some people have been talking about you know they've been backsliding and they're really sorrowful for it and I I feel like it's something in the air that God is really just calling uh, people out. He's calling them. You know, it, we know it's getting in the last hour. Um, so as he's calling them out, people are really like, oh, I know I've blown it. I know I've, you know, and it's hard because the enemy will try and um, other spirits will try and attack, you know, the whole depression thing and, you know, you're not good enough and look at you screwed up, you backslider bum you, you know, but that's the thing, it's like, you backslide, and then you got to seek the word, who does the word say we are, who does the word say we are, so, we do need to pray for these people, because you know, that, um, you know, when you fall, the enemy comes in to accuse, very heavily, it's so horrible. Um, so they need our encouragement and they definitely need our prayers. So, um, yeah, Joshua has asked for prayer. Uh, Maurice, um, Maurice said that, um, you know, some of the things from his old life. And it happened when he got laid off. And so that's like the spirit of worry, you know, that fear. You lose that security net. It, yeah. So, but he's, he's talked about being in a panic, which is fear, worry. Um, so... He talked about um, negative and evil soul ties that were created by my sins to be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. So he recognizes when he backslid, he opened up the door to Satan again. And so we just agree with him regarding axing the soul ties and, and uh, uh, all that stuff. Um, and also... Stephanie... Um, Stephanie has been using drugs. Um, that's part of her past. Um, and it's trying to come back. So she said, I've had a great relationship with God, and for, yet for some reason I fall away from time to time. And she's just tired of it. Um, tired of making the same mistakes. She wants to be all that God has made her to be. She says, I want to walk with Christ and not against Him. Lord, please help me. So, indeed, uh, we stand in the gap for Joshua, Maurice, and Stephanie, um, who, uh, who have uh, had these, these issues. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. You who hear the cry of the brokenhearted, you are so near to them, Lord Jesus. We bind forth we bind up uh, spirits of condemnation of accusing of doubt we bind them from them in the mighty name of Jesus and we command them to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment we speak blessing and truth and life over them and their situations we even speak for blessing over Maurice. Uh, when he got laid off, we speak uh, life to everything he sets his hands to. Lord Jesus said he's turn, turning the corner there and recognizing uh, his fault. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you no longer hold that against him. We speak blessing over his job situation. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that we recognize these um, worry and fear 
the anxiety, the panic. We bind up all those things in the mighty name of Jesus concerning Maurice. We command them to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. You have no place here anymore. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for Joshua, that you would just bless him, bless him. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that he's reaching out to the brethren, that they may pick him up and encourage him. But I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are there to fully embrace him, that he need not follow after anything but you to find his fulfillment in this life. So I thank you, Lord, Lord God, you are the all-sufficient one in his life. Fill him up, Lord Jesus. Fill him up with your truth, with your love, so that he can be secure and know that he knows your truth and your love for him. And we bind up uh, this um, what, what is uh, the drugs thing is like dealing with sorcery is that what the, the pharmacopoeia kind of fits in the sorcery category I think because um, I'm not a deliverance expert <laughs> but I'm trying to pinpoint what, it, what that is but um, I want to agree with her. Um, she, she doesn't want it anymore. And I don't. We bind up whatever this is, Lord Jesus. This, um, I guess it's, I'm going to just call it sorcery. From her, Lord Jesus. This spirit that induces her to uh, desire these drugs that drag her down into the pit, Lord Jesus, and she doesn't want it either, so we are calling forth an axe to the root, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bind you up, sorcery, and we command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment, Holy Spirit, we call you forth into her life, in power, and in demonstration, to bring forth your deliverance from drugs in her life. Call forth her giftings, Lord Jesus. Rise those things up and secure her in who she is in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for her desire. I just ask, Lord Jesus, that you would cut off any relationships or anything that would be a source to drag her down. Lord Jesus, we know in your word what kind of people we are to hang around and what kind of people we are not to hang around. And there is a reason for that. And I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that you would enact your word. We just send forth your angels to carry that out in her life. To change her circumstances so that she will not be around that stuff. And we indeed call forth the brethren to come into her life, to fill her up, pick her up, to be of good influence. We speak goodness into her life, into her relationships, holy relationships, righteous relationships godly relationships I thank you Lord Jesus thank you for my brothers and sisters sent into her life to be uh, a good influence to her and for her to be able to minister to them as well thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus for her testimony thank you Lord Jesus that she can shout her testimony from the rooftops Bless her, Lord Jesus. She's got some testifying to do. Praise God. Okay, uh, this was one that was supposed to be for last week, but it kind of got buried in email because <laughs> it was so short I missed it. Um, 
There is a gentleman named Mike that needs prayers regarding his marriage with Janice. So, I don't have any details, but we do indeed bless them. Lord Jesus, thank you for this man of God, the man of the household, who indeed upholds his marriage and cares and love for, loves his wife. We bind up any, any spiritual enmity that would try to separate them. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your example. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are sending people into their lives to witness to them regarding marriage, regarding the give and take. Bless them, Lord Jesus, especially in this season of Christmas, that it may draw them together, that they may focus as, as a, a unit of one on what the really important things are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for their solidarity. First in you, Lord Jesus. First in you and then sold out to each other as well. Thank you for your perfect example. May that be manifested in their marriage. Bless their marriage. Bless it, Lord Jesus. Bless you. All right. Um, and Reggie Boy from YouTube, uh, we had prayed for him uh, earlier regarding the gift of tongues. He had something else. I thought I'd bring it down in another section here. Um, he says, Thank you. I have felt the power of the Holy Spirit before I prayed for a friend once, and demons started manifesting, speaking through my friend, telling me Jesus was a lie, and that they were coming to get me with their army, and that I was going to burn in hell. <laughs> But I stood strong and I told them to come out in Jesus' name. But since I spoke bad about tongues, I was confused. I haven't felt the same and thought that I have done the impardonable sin. Please ask the Holy Spirit to give you a word of knowledge for me. Okay. Um, yeah, demons will manifest if you confront them. And even if you don't confront them, they start to go wiggy on you, but, uh, but since he spoke bad about tongues, I guess it's a confidence issue that we really need to address here, um, you know, in that one instance where he spoke and he said that wasn't the gift, it's, it's not, uh, an impardonable thing, um, Um, he just didn't know, but the enemy banked on that and put in all kinds of doubt and condemnation and just, uh, fear. So there's, there's a lot of, uh, spirits there that are really, uh, ripping down his self-confidence of who he is in Jesus. So Lord Jesus, for Reggie Boy, we just ask, Lord God, that you would just reveal to him that he is mighty indeed, that he is an overcomer, and that he has authority. He has authority over these things. We just implore you, Lord Jesus, to shine down a deeper revelation on taking thoughts captive in his life. Anything that exalts itself against you, Lord Jesus, that is opposed to it, a simple thought, to bind it in the mighty name of Jesus and command it down. And as for a word of knowledge, um, I'll just continue to pray, but I just see a lot of revelation um, just from what he's saying um, that you can see uh, as you read it all the those spirits that are in operation fear um condemnation 
the accuser is there. Um, it, just a whole bunch of stuff, and with that revelation alone, just to begin to focus on the opposite in the scriptures. So uh, whatever the whatever the word says, um, you know. The word is the weapon of our warfare. That's the sword of the truth in the word of God. So um, it's just, you know, he needs to exercise. It's, we have to work and train as believers um, to be a warrior <laughs> for the Lord. Um, you know, it takes some training. Um, you can't throw somebody else's armor on somebody else, you know. Remember Saul doing that with David? David has it, had, it, had trained, and he knew the Lord, and he knew what he was capable of in the Lord. And he was confident in that. And so, uh, that's the same kind of thing. To each person is different, and we cannot throw one thing on another person. So, um, uh, Anyhow, I'll pray. Um, if, the, if the Lord would speak a word to you regarding Reggie Boy, um, you can post it or send it an email, and I will share that with him. Um, but anyhow, let's pray for him, and maybe the Lord will say something. You just never know. <laughs> Put on the full armor of God. Uh, that's what I'm getting. Um, I'm seeing all that armor. That's funny because I use that example of uh, Saul putting his armor on David. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing the pieces of armor. Um, so focus on that scripture, uh, Reggie boy. And uh, uh, really... Um, Learn to exercise and take captive those thoughts unto the obedience of Christ Jesus and to repeat who God says you are. When you get a contrary voice coming in, uh, you call it down and you immediately proclaim the opposite. So if you get that fear coming in, you say, nope, I'm not afraid because I'm, in, I'm beneath the wing of the Lord Jesus or I'm in his hand. Or, you know, I'm at his bosom, whatever you want to say. So, uh, a little warfare there. Amen, James. Speaking the word, as Jesus did, puts the accuser to flight. All right. Um, all right, we're going to pray for Glenda Lomax on YouTube. Um, uh, word has it that she has suffered a stroke, and so we'll just join in um, in the body of Christ and pray for her recovery, because uh, that's not fun stuff, is it? We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just send your angels to surround Glenda. We call forth your healing, Lord Jesus. That which is zapped and frozen, we just command to loosen in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak restoration into our muscles. We bind up the trauma from this incident and we place it beneath the footstool of Jesus Christ. We speak life life over her, life over everything she sets her hands to, Lord Jesus. We call forth her tongue to be loose, and her mind to think in clarity. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you guide and direct her ministry. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, uh, Dennis, who is 50 years old, who is a cousin of, um, uh, okay, it's, it's uh, Anne's cousin, 
who's Andy's wife. <laughs> he's in Denmark. Um, he's had heart surgery with some burning of abnormalities. This has not had the desired effect as his heart is still acting abnormally. So please pray for his heart to function properly. Okay, I'm not really sure really what all that is, but yes, indeed. We do lift up his heart. We call forth life into this heart. We speak life into this heart. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you hear the prayers of your righteous ones. And as uh, Anne and Andy are lifting him up, we thank you for their witness in, in his life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We speak life into his heart. We bind up abnormalities in the mighty name of Jesus. We place him beneath the footstool of Jesus for judgment. And we call forth a perfect heart. We speak life. We call forth restoration to tissue. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your perfect heart tissue structure. We call that forth now in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration. We just speak Jesus. Jesus into Dennis's heart. Jesus into his heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Okay, when I was praying, I was seeing a lot of, I don't know, it was it was abnormal. I guess that's the best way you'd say it. Um, but as I, you know, kept repeating Jesus, I just felt my stomach surge with the Holy Spirit. So that's encouraging. So thank you, Jesus, for whatever you're doing there. And we also bless Dennis's family. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just give him encouragement. Give him positive outlook. We bind up negativity and any negative reports. We call them to just pass on by. In Jesus' mighty name. Awesome. Okay, and Chaga Chip, hello. She says, according to Conrad, there is improvement regarding um, uh, uh, Glenda Lomax. So I think I did see that as well. Um, I think I went to her website to see because somebody's been putting up a little update thing on there. So, yeah. So praise God for that. Does anybody else have any uh, other prayer requests or any questions or or whatever's <laughs> there's probably some questions that were answered on the forum but that I could probably repeat on here but or you could just go to the forum the forum is at uh, www.hearinggod.proboards.com uh, join in there um, you know trying to get people involved with um, stepping out in their giftings and sharing. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that will stand by on the sidelines and think, oh, I don't have anything to offer, or I don't know much, or whatever. And yet, those same people will, like, listen to some big-name ministry or whatever and go, oh, I got that same thing, too. Hmm. <laughs> and you know who you are. Uh, you know you hear from God. It's just maybe a little bit of a timid thing or whatever. But um, I just want to say God is desiring to use you, that you, know, you do hear from God. Um, and he has equipping for you. Uh, he has a place for you. And uh, 
you just kind of have to step out in baby steps. So you, you can use the forum as a, a baby step place. Um, nobody's around to attack you. <laughs> and if they are, well, we'll just uh, tell them to go bye-bye. <laughs> Um, so really that is all I have this week so unless anybody else has anything um, I do have a parting video that um, I'm planning to play um, it's called what is it called <laughs> recognizing spirits and dealing with them so yeah, unless anybody else has anything, uh, you want to sneak in here, um, okay. All right. Okay, Car Mom's writing, brothers and sisters, I have been receiving good gifts from God. Starting to understand some of my tongues. But I feel as if I'm being physically attacked. Worst flu ever. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> Car Mom, it's, it's a, you're a huge threat because you jumped into this thing and you're running. You know? You are running. The closer I am to God, the worse I feel. Help. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know, this past week somebody was, um, on one of my videos I was talking about spirits on objects, that was the name of the video, and they're like, no, nah, I don't read the Bible, or I tried reading it once, but, you know, and I'm trying to get them to understand that, um, you know, the devil isn't going to, he's not going to put any firepower if he already has you kind of thing. I put it in a nicer way so it's not like I'm holier than thou, you know, that kind of thing. But it's kind of that revelation, you know. If he already has you, what does he need to fight with you about? But if you have ability and power, if you have a strong faith in the Lord um, to damage Satan's kingdom... Well, uh, you have a lot of exercising to do. Um, he is going to accuse you up and down. And it's not fun. But it's, you know, you have that eternal perspective thing. When you see it for what it is, and you know um, what the Lord is doing, uh then you can understand even when these waves of attack come and you declare, well, so what? I'm still in the Lord's hands. Um, you know, a lot of people have lost their homes, have lost, you know, just like the scriptures say, <laughs> you know, they're, they're losing lots of things in relationships. People are weirding out on you. You know, you got family members that are flipping out. Well, it's the demonic, you know. Um... But if you see it for what it is, you can have empathy over situations, over people, and learn to cling to that peace. When you know what's really going on, clinging to that peace. And I'm really sorry about that flu stuff. Do you still have it? Are you still getting over it? Because that's what James, oh, James had a cold. But, yeah, everybody's kind of <laughs> uh, going through stuff, you know. But, yeah, are you? Three, you've had the flu hanging on for three weeks, huh? Okay, well, how about we pray over that? <laughs> Anyhow, we just bind up this flu stuff from over car man mom in the mighty name of jesus but she can pick up a skip it infirmity we bind you in the mighty name of jesus we bind you and command you to go to the footstool of jesus christ for judgment you have no place here 
You have no place here. We speak life. We speak to our immune system when we declare it is strong. We declare immune system that is strong. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are there to strengthen her. That you make her knees strong. That you are there to uphold her hands. And all the things that she has to do, all the things that are required of her. I speak life over her, everything that she sets her hands to do in the mighty name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus to it. I declare she is sold out for Jesus. She belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the fellowship uh, with with saints, we declare uh, that it, it be done. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Comfortable or seem negative because as we know, correction is...